Hello, everybody, if you can see me. These things are always delayed, so I don't know. How's the sound? How's the picture? What do you think? So today, welcome to this live screen, stream, screen, first of all. And second of all, I just wanted to say that today I am doing my Green Beauty Empties for June with a little bit of coffee. We're having a little bit of a coffee break with Steph. Uh, most of these are green beauty, personal care, that type of thing. There's a few lifestyle empties in here. The second thing I wanted to say before we get into the action of the mini reviews, if you will, is that um, if you follow me online anywhere, you've probably heard me say already that I'm moving fairly soon. So this is gonna be my last live stream for a while. Um, I think that I did these live streams to begin with because I don't really have a nice setup for filming, etc. right now. So uh, because I did have to like take down my setup for showing the house, etc. So I'm just in my office today and every one of my live streams. But once I move, I will be setting up a nicer background for actually filming like edited, edited YouTube videos, not live. So I'm not sure how much uh, I'm going to be doing these live streams in the future. We shall see. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the empties. So let's see, what should I do first? I will do a positive one first. So this is actually a little carton that a bar soap came in. To, came in. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of bar soaps, I have to admit, but this one was really good. This is from Province Apothecary, if you can see that, and it is called their Boreal Forest Soap, and this, I believe they made specially for Canada Day. It's got a lot of essential oils that are from the Canadian Boreal, Boreal Forest, which made it smell amazing. I can't really smell it anymore. It just smelt really foresty and I do like the smell a lot. And I also really loved that this soap was an olive oil base rather than a coconut oil base. I just prefer that personally. Coconut oil kind of gives me a bit of ir irritation. And I found that it didn't melt as fast as like coconut oil bar soaps. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you buy a coconut oil based bar soap and you put it in your shower and it's just like in a few days it's like half gone from the humidity and whatnot, but this one was really good. It lasted me over a month. I just finished it today, and I've had it since like mid-May, I wanna say, so that's a long time. So it was beautiful, and I love that company. Amazing. Okay, here's kind of a negative review. So this is the Dr. Bright Teeth Whitening Pen. It's not focusing on it. Mm, that's frustrating. So this is the second Dr. Bright product that I've tried. And the first one I really loved. And this one I really, really hated. So the first one was, it came in the same package. It was the green apple scent. There's green apple and then there's mint, which is comes in like mint packaging, of course. Mm, obvious. Uh, the first one was a peroxide free version. And the formula was like a thick white paste formula and like you would click the bottom like here's the bottom and you click it and like it would come out the pen and it was fine it was great this one so i wanted to try this one that had the peroxide because the first one without the peroxide i found it didn't do as much whitening as i wanted to it wasn't like quite as powerful as i wanted but now i'm like regretting my purchase uh so this is actually there's some globules of, of it on there. You probably can't see that, but it's like a clear watery liquid. So it leaked out of the applicator like crazy and it got everywhere. And because it was peroxide, like as soon as you touch it, it like gets on your skin and it stings and it like uh, stains your skin for a little while, like a white. So, and then I don't know if you can see that side. There's like, yeah, you can see it. There's like brown stuff on it. That's what happens when it like leaks out and I guess it oxidizes or something. It turns into this gross brown 
and it just was like not a pleasant experience whatsoever. I loved the first one with that peroxide. It was really good. This one, I didn't even get enough product to see if it whitened my teeth better because it leaked so much. So I would not purchase this one again. The peroxide free, I definitely would. I'm probably gonna go back to it, but this one was terrible. I did not like it at all. Not a good experience whatsoever. Okay, what's next? So then I also used up, and I do want to say like some people think that like I have a ton of products that are empty and I did not use these within one month. Like I used these over, you know, many, many months and a lot of them I've been working on using up because of my move coming up. So there's that. This is from Alafia and I love that gold, isn't it cute? And it's their Neem and Shea Recovery Conditioner for dry and extra dry scalps. Ever since I switched to Green Beauty, I've been having a big, big problem with hair care. Everything I try has like made my scalp itchy, like on fire itchy, which I've never experienced before. I've never really had a dry scalp before in my life. So that's weird. But these products from Alafia really, really helped. However, I will purchase the shampoo of this one again, but I won't repurchase this, the conditioner, because the shampoo really, really gave me that relief for my scalp, but it is very drying on the hair, and this is not moisturizing enough to like help me recover from that. It actually dries out my hair quite a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, gotta clear my throat and have a little sip of my coffee. What do you think of my makeup today? I'm really proud of it. I like the colors a lot. Very warm toned. I guess this isn't technically warm toned, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, so that's that. And they're very affordable Alafia products. I like them a lot. They're like fair trade shea butter based. Um, this I also finally used up, which is kind of inconvenient because I just painted my nails. This is the nail polish remover from Puranata, a Canadian company. This is probably like the second least toxic nail polish remover on the market, but I do want to try the least toxic one, which is from Karma Organics. Um, so I won't be repurchasing this right away. It is extremely low odor, which is nice, but it is still very harsh chemicals because I spilt some on my cell phone case and you can kind of see what it did there which I covered up with this like pouchy thing. So, I mean, this is not playing around. I'm getting a new phone soon anyway, so it's not that big a deal. And it was just the case and not the phone, thank goodness. But yes, you do have to be careful with any kind of, even if it's low odor, low toxin, yeah. <laughs> it's made to take off nail polish, so there you go, my fault. I also finished up this, it, you can barely see that, from, but it's from Kula. It's their unscented matte tint natural BB cream with SPF 30. I use this as a primer quite a bit. It has silicon in it, so it has that like primary slip to it, but you do have to wash it off really well so it doesn't clog your pores. And never wear it overnight because then you're gonna break out. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I went with the unscented because I have such sens sensitive skin. They have a rose one, I think, and a cucumber, so I might try one of those to see if it bothers me or not. But yeah, I just liked it. And even though it's a mineral sunscreen, it was like thick enough and tinted enough that it did not have a white cast at all. The one thing I would say is that like, I'm pretty sure it only comes in one shade. You can kind of see there's some smidge, smidgen in there and like, it's good for my skin tone, but it's very light. So, I mean, they could use a little bit of a, you know, make their line, expand their line, that's the word I'm looking for, into like different skin tones. And what else? They Not all of their products are available in Canada. Um, I have the list in the description of, below of all these products. This one I got from Detox Market, I think, something like that. They have a setting spray that I'd love to try, but it's just not available in this country, which is a bummer. Mm. What's next? How about we go with a bad review? 
This is actually not technically an empty. It's this. It's a deodorant in citrus from a tiny little company from California, I want to say. No, Washington State. Um, called Lone. Oh, God, it's so gross. I don't even want to open it. So I didn't use this very long before I realized how terrible this is. I really struggle finding a natural deodorant that not only works, but is like a really good formula. Um, I don't think it had baking soda in it, which can be irritating. No, it doesn't look like it. So that was a good thing. But it had things like coconut oil, all sorts of vegetable waxes, so many waxes and oils that you like put it on. Does it have beeswax? Because it feels like it has beeswax, but I don't think it does. It just has a lot of vegetable waxes. You put it on and it like sticks to you. It's like sticky, which is really weird. And it sticks to your clothes and like the wax is getting your clothes. And then if you try and wash your clothes, it like makes it stick to the fabric even more and like stains them. It's disgusting. I don't like it. I did not like it. I like the smell. I like citrus, but I just, I couldn't even, most of the time, even if I don't like a product, I'm frugal enough that I try and use it up. But this one, I just can't, I just can't, I just don't like it. The only other product I have in here that is not empty is this. Um, it's from Anne Marie Gianni Skincare, which I believe is from Australia, and it's her Honey Coconut Mask. And I've had this for so long. Of course, it's not going to focus. Focus, you silly thing. Okay, fine. Bang. Um, I've had it for so long that the packaging is different now. And it still smells all right, but I'm pretty sure it's bad because it's straight up just honey and coconut oil. Or like coconut oil and some sort of, I think it's beeswax or something like that. So it's supposed to be super moisturizing, which... When I first got it, I was like using it in the winter, which is nice. I would never really use something this heavy in the summer. Um, but then I discovered that I have irritations from coconut oil and like I was having all these teensy little red spots everywhere and I didn't understand why. They were like, they almost looked like little acne, but they weren't quite acne. So I just stopped using it because of that and there's quite a bit left, but I just, I can't do it, friends. I can't. Also, hello train. Even if I wanted to, um, it's probably gone bad by now because I've had it for a while, a long while. I can't even think of how long. Okay, let's go back to a good one, shall we? This is a beauty counter product and it's their body oil in Rose Neroli. Now, I did list where you can get their body oil because it is a good product, but they don't have the scent anymore because story time. So, a year ago, February, oh my god, I keep things for way too long. People, don't do this. It's really not good. Things go bad. It's probably not good to keep them this long. Anyway, so I got my first, my very first Beauty Heroes box. My first and one of my last. I think I only had it for like three times or something because it's pretty expensive. Um, and Beauty Heroes, it's a subscription box based in the States. So I'm in Canada. So one of the reason, well, the reason why I had to stop getting it is that it's just way too expensive to like ship across the border and, you know, pay for the exchange. It was like the coverage, no, the exchange rate and all that. Like it made it probably close to a hundred Canadian dollars a month, which is just, ooh, can't do it. However, it does do like a single brand per month, full size product, like one full size product and then what they call a sidekick product. So like something smaller. So this one came with a lipstick also. Um, and this was the February box. And I think I received it in March of that year because I got it like late. Not that that matters, you probably don't care. But anyways, so because it was the February box, it was this whole like Valentine's Day romance thing. So this scent, the Rose Neroli of the Beauty Counter Oil, body oil was like exclusive for that box, that Beauty Heroes box. And I just love the scent so much. I love Rose, I love Neroli, and the two together are just uh, amazing. And they actually do smell like romance to me, like 
They're just like floral and citrus and sweetness and just, I don't know, I just like it a lot. So anyways, the other thing I loved, loved, loved about this body oil is that it absorbs really, really quickly and really well. Um, I'm really picky about oils because I find some of them just kind of like sit on your skin and make you look greasy and I don't like that. But this did, like you'd rub it in and it would give you kind of like a sheen and a glow, but it wouldn't feel greasy on the skin, you know? So that's amazing. The one thing I will say is that Beauty Counter is an MLM, so multi-level marketing pyramid scheme, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's on the fence about that. I've never met anyone who made money off of them. I think they take advantage of people who want to be financially independent. That's just my thing. But they are one of the only ones that are like green beauty or clean beauty. So there's that. And if you are interested, I would say like, just get it direct from the company. Like that's what they, they kind of do anyway. And that's why they're so scammy. It's like they do the independent con consultants or whatever and you give you like can buy through them and they'll get money, but you can always just buy it from the company anyway. So why do they do that? You know what I mean? It's a scam. Scam, scam, scam. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, so amazing product though. So loved it, loved it. I'm really sad that I can't get this again. And the bottle, like the applicator is, it's just a pump, but it's so amazing. I'm gonna be a hoarder and like put my other body oil in here because the other one I have it like you have to like pour it out on your hand and oh I don't like it. Anyway, moving on. This is from John Masters Organics. I have to like manipulate the bottle so you can see it. Um, it's their citrus and neroli detangle detangler neroli again. Mm, I love neroli. And again, I like the scent. And before I bought this big bottle, I had sort of a sample bottle. And the sample bottle I like used and I liked it. But then when I bought this, I kind of like, while I was going through it, I was like, I didn't like this enough to buy it again. Like, I guess the sample didn't give me enough of an experience. And the big thing that I don't like about it is that when I put it in, like it's an after shower, like pre-styling thing that you put in and then you brush your hair and it's supposed to help tanglers detangler. Do you know when that is? Because I'm just explaining to you apparently. Um, and then like the next day or like two days later, I'd go in the shower and wash my hair again and I could feel like this stuff washing out. It was like this greasy residue. Oh, I did not like it. Before this I had from Graydon Clinical Luxury, I had her hair smoothie which can be like a detangler or a leave-in uh, conditioner or just a conditioner, depending on your hair type. And I used it as a detangler and I loved it. It was amazing. I think I'm gonna go back to that and just say bye-bye to this one. Bye-bye, John Masters. Some of his products I do like. Is he a person? I'm not even sure. This I love and is this my second bottle? Oh no, I've had other brands. It uh, It's a rose water basically. And I've had other brands of rose water. And I mean, I just love rose water as a toning step. So wash my face, spritz, 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 and then kind of dr dry that while I brush my teeth or whatever and then put moisturizer on. That's how I use it. Or I, I use it on like makeup brushes if I'm using loose pigments to pick them up better. Um, the thing I really liked about this was actually the, is it going to still have prep? No, not really. The, the spritzer. I don't know, a little bit there. It's just amazing. I kind of, again, I kind of want to be a hoarder and like put something else in here, but I won't for this one because I'm just going to buy another bottle. Like what is wrong with me? But the spritzer is just so good. It's just like a really nice mist. No big globules on your face or whatever. So yeah, pretty. It's a company from Toronto. I like the packaging too, it's so cute. And rose water is really good for sensitive skin. Um, that's kind of a lifestyle thing. I'm doing, doing lifestyle at the end. So you can like click away if, if you just wanna see beauty. Uh, this is a lip balm, I go through lip balms like crazy. This was from a random, random like winners 
TJX if you're in the States, find. Um, they do have a bunch of like natural beauty, but it's always really random stuff. So this is from a company called Out of Africa, and it's Pure Shea Butter Lip Balm with Vitamin E. This is the orange cream. Mmm, it smells delicious, like a creamsicle, and anything, any lip balm that is like the big, or like the first ingredient or the main ingredient is shea butter, I'm all about it. All about it. It just works for me. It's amazing. I actually have another one from the same company, although it's smaller, that I also found at like Winners, which is pomegranate and acai lip balm. Nature's own miracle moisturizer. Mm, I'm not gonna argue with that. Coffee time. So yeah, mm, another lip product and another favorite from Sagittarium, their Candy Floss Lip Scrub. It's basically a like sugar-based scrub. I use it like up to twice a day because I have super dry lips and it smells like candy. It's pink, which I like. I just like this product a lot, that's all. Yeah, sugar primrose oil so it has like oils in there and vanilla which is delicious what else can I say about that it's affordable it's just really good it's just really good that's all I gotta say um, I used up one of the 100% pure bright eyes eye masks there if you're into green beauty and you're on Instagram at all you probably have seen them everywhere they're the like green ones bright bright green because um, it's green tea I think. The funny thing is is that I got a five pack of these and it says one use. I did not listen to that. These things are not cheap let me say that and they're made of like I don't even know what not something that you would toss right away like it's probably some sort of plastic or oh actually it's hydrogel 95% organic aloe water and 5% plant cellulose. So blah blah blah. So then uh, apparently the hydrogel gets thinner the longer you put it on your skin. So what I did is that when you open the package there's all like this liquid in it right? And after the first time I used it I was like there's tons of liquid left in there and I still have these masky things. So I just put it back in and I got like five uses out of it before all the liquid was used up by the little patches and then I tossed them. So I don't know, is that good? Is that bad? Is it unhygienic? What do you think? And I also kept them in the fridge in between uses so that it had like a cooling effect. Oh, but the review, <laughs> babbling on about how I use it. I like them, I do like them. I like them for like pre-events or like this type of thing, like pre-filming, pre-taking photos of yourself, that type of thing. Um, because they do have this brightening effect under the eye, which is awesome. Does it depuff a little bit? But I found more like my skin was almost like less gray and blue under there and more like bright and white. So that was amazing. I did like that. Love it. Probably will buy it again. But I have like what, four more, so won't be buying for a while, but I will. And then this is disgusting. You're gonna be grossed out. So this is my latest Conjac sponge. And the reason why it's like gray is because, yeah, look at how gross that is. I was using it with this facial wash, facial wash, facial cleanser which had like activated charcoal in it. So it was a gray color itself. And for a while, I was kind of like, oh, I can make this last longer. I've only had it for, you know, a month and I'm moving, you know, in X amount of weeks. So I can just make it last. But eventually I was like looking at that and I'm like, I know that's probably the facial wash, but it's still grossing me the heck out and I can't do it anymore. So I think I'm gonna compost it. This is from Andalou Naturals. It's from a two set. So that's the reason why I was trying to like make it last is because it comes with a round red one, which I have not opened yet. Cause I kind of like, I, it's hard with these, right? Cause they get wet and they like sit in your shower and well, mine like hangs in my shower, but 
it kind of goes through that cycle of getting wet and then drying and getting wet and drying. So I don't really want to like start another one and then have to like toss it uh, prematurely. So yeah, I'm just going to toss that and I'm not using right one right now. I do miss them. Uh, this was the rose one in the package and I think the other one is like pomegranate or something. But yeah, I really like contact sponges and these ones for, are for sensitive skin and there's ones for oily or combo or anti-aging or whatever. There's all sorts. So love them. Can't live without them. What's your favorite brand? Tell me in the comments. And then I have some of these silly things that I've shown on camera before where there's these stupid like uh, takeout containers, excuse me, where I was keeping like samples. So I did use some up, which is good. I'm probably going to have to toss them when I move anyway, because I'm not going to move these. It's ridiculous. I just have to buy the full sizes and stop being silly. So this was from, I think they're all from Kiranata possibly. This is from Pure Nada. It was their espresso, which I believe is a pressed one. And it's obviously a dark kind of ashy brown, like cafe or espresso. And then what else do we have? This was like their tropical violet, which then I foiled and it's a big mess, um, which was a loose luminous, I want to say. Oh, and this actually is not Pure Nada. This was Barisha Cosmetics. This was their Premonition eyeshadow, which was, by the way, Tropical Violet was bright purple, in case that wasn't obvious. Premonition was a very pale, very shimmery pink. I actually have some of the product here. Maybe I can swatch it. You might not be able to see it because it's very, very pale, but very beautiful. Barisha is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing some of the Gilmore Girls ones. Can you see that a little bit? It's just a tiny bit of a shimmer. So yeah, all of those I'm gonna have to just break down and buy them because obviously I like them because I used them up. All right, I think that's it for beauty personal care stuff. The rest is kind of like lifestyle. So usually I don't do this, but this month I have some home goods that are like green home goods. This I got in the April Think Dirty box. Really, really good box. Love Think Dirty. This was the Buckaroo Soapberry Suds, and it's like a sample size, and it came with a scoop, you can see there. And it's basically like a loose powder laundry detergent. 100% organic soap berries. So soap berries are these things where like, they're naturally occurring berries, but they create soap somehow. I don't really know. Am I wrong about that? I'm not sure. Um, anyways, the thing that I did not like, it's it, like you can use it in standard and high efficiency. I have a standard. My new house is gonna have a high efficiency. I'm so excited about that. I can't even tell you. Um, I've been struggling with my standard. Anyway, the thing that I didn't like about it was that it kind of, you had to be careful when you add it like it has to have a lot of water and if your load is too small it can like gather like some of the powder doesn't get wet enough or something and like little bits of powder kind of clump together on your clothes so like sometimes I'd like take out a t-shirt and then have like a clump of this stuff in it and nobody likes that that was unpleasant and it's completely unscented which is good for me because I've had a lot of problems in the past with topical allergies to laundry products. Annoying, very annoying, I'm gonna tell you now. Like, to just have a rash and not know where it's coming from, and eventually I like put two and two together and it's like my, sh my bed sheets or my towels, because like bounce sheets are the worst, like those dryer sheets, the worst. I read an article about how that particular uh, product Category is dying because of millennials, apparently, and that's fine with me. If they go extinct, I don't care. Waxy bastards! Ah! Anyway, enough about me and my silly allergies. Next, I have a Home Sense product. It's called Get the Funk Out, which is a cute little name. I like it. And it's from a tiny little indie brand called Deems. 
D-E-M-E-S, Deems, which is like possibly a Greek god, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. Anyways, it's just like a room spray or like a linen spray, or you can even use it as a body spray. Although the scent, I would not. And this is a smaller bottle, and it's lime basil. It's a very sharp, like, herbal scent, but it's not unpleasant. Like, I, I sprayed the rest of it in my basement a few, a little while ago, like a few weeks back. Um, when I was having a guest, my sister was coming to visit, and like after I sprayed it throughout the basement, I was like, it's really nice and fresh in here. It's amazing. Hello, train. That's annoying. So, I do like that. I do enjoy it. I would say the longevity isn't the best. Like, you spray it and it stays around for a little while, but it's not like a full day or anything. But I think you're gonna have that with any kind of non-toxic room sprays. Like, I don't know that there's any that last like incredibly long type of thing because they don't have those additives to make them last incredibly long. Okay, what next? So that's it for home. Now what I have is like consumables, edibles, and like every month, most of them are tea. I went through this. This is from Twinings, nothing that special, Earl Grey, loose tea. Um. I just picked these up at the grocery store just for the whole trying to do the, you know, zero waste tea thing. Um, there's no real other advantage to loose tea, really, I guess. I guess it would taste better. I don't know. I love Earl Grey, though. I, I drink it, like, almost every morning. Speaking of which, I also have a green loose tea that's an Earl Grey. And this would be like my afternoon tea. Sometimes I switch from caffeinated to less caffeinated. And this is a present that my fiance brought back for me ages ago from the Granville Island Tea Company, which is from Vancouver, I believe. It doesn't say. BC, anyway, British Columbia. And it's got this cute little label. And it was delicious. I love Earl Grey. That's all I'm gonna say about that. My last tea that I went through during June was this. It's from The Honest Leaf, one of my favorite tea companies. And they do pretty much all loose teas, I'm pretty sure. And this is their Nora, Nourish, Nourish <laughs> organic tea. It's caffeine free, so I would have it in the evening. That's kind of the way I go. go. I do like black tea with breakfast and like green tea in the afternoon and then herbal for like a nightcap type of thing. Um, why, is it, why is it called Nourish? Well, it's got a bunch of fruit in it, basically, and it's very like fruity and fresh. So rose hips, rooibos, elderberries, orange peel, nettle, oat straw. That's very unusual. And like orange extract, I'm trying to remember. It's, it's not my favorite flavor from them, I will say that. They have some nicer ones, but it was good. It was like a solid nightcap type of thing. Okay, my last thing is something that I I feel like I show this empty every month. And it has changed my life. It's from Renew Life. It's their ultimate flora that's not focusing. Uh, critical, critical Care. 30 capsules is probably why I show it every month. And it's basically a probiotic. So I have tried other probiotics, and this one is the best. I have a little bit of a digestive issues sometimes so that's why I started taking them and some of them are just like it doesn't make that much of a difference but this makes a huge difference because number one it has 50 billion of them in a capsule so that's a lot more than a lot of the other products on the market number two it has like a specific capsule that's like made to withstand your stomach acid and like actually get the probiotics into your intestinal tract where they're supposed to be, where they belong. And then three, it also has in the capsule, it has the food for the probiotic, probiotics, which I think is the prebiotics. I'm not sure. Anyway, so because of all those reasons, I think that's why it actually makes a difference and it's actually a high quality brand. It's not cheap, not gonna lie, but it's definitely worth it to not feel like your insides are in knots constantly. That's my burden. Anyway, so those are all my empties for June. 
I can't believe it. We got through it. I had a lot again. So I did want to say that I'm probably not going to do July empties. I like doing empties because I like kind of doing mini reviews, especially of things that I don't necessarily get to feature on like my blog or if I'm doing makeup tutorials. Like I don't talk about skincare that much because I like, I find makeup more interesting personally, but it is important and a lot of these are skincare. Look at how many I got! Oh my goodness! But yeah, for July, like, I'm going to be using up what I can use up before I move, and then, like, you know, putting in the recycling, and then when I get to my new house, I might have some more, but it's not going to be enough to do an empties video, I think. Maybe I'll just put them into, like, whatever will be my August empties which will probably be a live stream. So tune in for that. And thank you for joining me. Leave me a comment if you've tried any of these, if you want to try them, if you have different opinions than me. Because mm, we all like different things. And until August, I suppose. Bye, have a good summer.